So you've just got your Rust server set up and you want to know how to join it? I'm over from Shopbyte, and in this video I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know to be able to join your Rust server. Once you've finished customizing your server, you'll want to join it. First, if your server isn't already, go ahead and start it from the control panel. There are a few different methods of connecting to your Rust server, but before we get to them, you'll first need to know your server IP. You can find this on the server control panel homepage under the server address field. The first part of the number before the colon is the IP, and the second part after the colon is the port. Now that you have your server address, the first way to connect is with the client console. The in-game Rust client console allows you to directly connect to a server with a command which requires your server IP and port. Press the F1 key to open the game console, make sure that the console is selected in the top left of your screen, and then type the command client.connect, then the IP colon port, and press enter. One of the other methods of connecting to your server is via the Rust server list. Rust has recently updated its networking requirements, meaning that your server requires a dedicated IP in order to appear on the server list. You can connect directly, but if you wish to appear in the server list, come chat with us or open a support ticket so that we can assist. After launching Rust, click on play game. From here, you'll be able to connect to any Rust server. In order to connect to your server, you'll need to select from one of four tabs. Community, for vanilla Rust servers, search by your server's name, modded, for Oxide, Carbon or other modded servers. As before, just search by your server's name, favorited, any servers you have favorited or added to Steam's server viewer will be here, and history is any servers that you have joined before. Once you've found your server, click on it and open the connection window, and click join server. You've now successfully set up and joined your Rust server. There are a bunch of other ways you can customize your server though, like adding a whitelist and mods. We'll have some useful guides linked down in the description, and make sure to subscribe for more Rust and other game server tutorials from Shopbyte like this one.